biology people, I want to talk about something called pedomorphosis. I get a lot of students that ask me, what's the difference between a wolf and our pet dogs? They're the same species. Wolves and our pet dogs are the same species. We do consider them a subspecies, but they're interbreedable. They can reproduce together. So wolves and dogs are the same species. So why can't we have a wolf as a pet? Well, the simple answer is that our pet dogs have gone through something called pedomorphosis, but wolves have not. Let me explain. The natural life cycle of a wolf is that it is born as a puppy, very playful. Most mammals are very playful as young. And the reason is play is a great way to investigate and explore your world. Puppies are playful with each other. They play fight, they wrestle, they're curious. Curiosity helps us learn about our environment and our world. And puppies want to play, they want to explore, they want to do all these things so they can learn as much as they can. But then they reach a point in their life where they transition into adulthood. Part of that transition is creating this instinct for dominance. If you look at a pack of wolves, you have the alpha, sometimes you have a beta, you have this hierarchy with inside the wolf pack. They are always fighting and trying to keep that hierarchy. And so adult wolves are not looking to play. They're not looking to be curious. They're looking to maintain hierarchy, to keep the pack alive, to hunt, to reproduce, and keep their position in that pack. And that's a normal process for a wolf pack. And so what is different about your pet dog? Well, again, I said the word pedomorphosis. So what is that? Well, pedomorphosis is a mutation. What it means is that you stay childlike your entire life. And so our pet dogs are puppy-like their entire life. What that means is through our breeding process, we were always choosing the pet dogs that were the most friendly or the most docile or the ones that wanted to be around us. Through that process, we accidentally chose a mutation that made pet dogs stay juvenile mentally their entire life. This is why pet dogs are always curious. They're always playful. They always want to explore the world. You tell a 15 year old dog, do you want to go to the park? And it gets excited. It starts wagging its tail because it is childlike. It never goes through that transition to adulthood where it needs to show its dominance. And so when I have a pet dog, it's a puppy its whole life. It thinks of you as its parents, its family, and it's playful. That makes a great pet. But if I were to have a pet wolf, as a puppy, it would love me, I would be its best friend, it would be playful, it would be great until it transitions into adulthood and then there's going to be a power struggle. The power struggle between me and my pet wolf is going to be between who is going to lead the pack. The wolf can't help it, it's part of its instinct, it is built into its genetic code and so maybe it will respect me as the alpha, maybe it will respect me as the pack leader, but whenever I show weakness, it's gonna try and take that position from me. It's not that it doesn't love me, it's not that it doesn't view me as its family. That's just the normal transition with wolves. And this is true for a lot of mammals. And so this pedomorphosis allows us to have our pet dogs. And we've seen this with other animals and we've replicated this before. There was a fantastic experiment in Russia where they took foxes. They breed foxes in Russia in order for, to have their fur for hats and coats. And so these scientists went into this farm and said, hey, can we choose which ones breed for a few years and try and experiment? And the farmers didn't mind. And so what the scientists did was they walked around and they found whatever fox didn't growl or attack them right away. And they bred those ones. Then they took the pups of those foxes and they went around trying to find another one that was just a little more docile. And they did this. And after a decade of doing this, they ended up with foxes that had gone through pedomorphosis. They were childlike their whole life and they had many dog characteristics. They would wag their tail. They would get excited. They stayed playful their whole life. And so this pedomorphosis is a mutation 
that allows our pet dogs to be fantastic pets. Now, interestingly, scientists think humans have gone through pedomorphosis. Not that anyone was breeding us, but that we did it to ourselves. Through selective breeding, we chose the traits that led us towards pedomorphosis. And if you think about it, humans are curious and creative our entire lives. We don't go through a transition where we need to be dominant and beat up everybody and keep our pack order. Now, there is a little bit of hierarchy, but there's always gonna be a small hierarchy with any type of pack animal. But with humans, we do show all of these pedomorphosis characteristics. I am almost 40 years old and I am still playful. I still wanna go play. I want toys, I want games, I get excited when we go to the park. And so this has led to also our ability to be as intelligent as we are because we're always creative and trying to learn more about our world. Well, I hope you enjoyed this discussion on why we can't own a pet wolf and why our pet dogs are the way they are. Again, that is pedomorphosis. I'll see you guys next time.